What's up everybody? Uh, this is Parker here. Uh, gonna give you a little tutorial on some uh, Time Warner cable and Xbox One features that I just found out today. Uh, so I am a Time Warner cable turbo internet subscriber and uh, when I ordered the package uh, it came with a starter TV package for free. Uh, this is their most basic TV package. It has about, I don't know, you know, 20 real channels. There's a bunch of other kind of weird uh, foreign language channels and crap, but I mean, I'm not getting Comedy Central, I'm not getting ESPN, I'm only getting the real basic stuff. Um, before, uh, well, let me back up a bit. Time Warner Cable is switching over to an all digital uh, type of signal, and they're informing all their customers that they need to get this digital converter box, um, digital adapter box, this thing right here. Um, I went and picked it up today. Uh, before I had this box, I literally just took my coax cable out of the wall and into my TV, um, and I just changed the TV with um, you know my regular uh, television. This is the television remote control for my LG TV. Uh, now I have this box that uh, it goes uh, you know um, it goes from the coaxial to the box now to the TV. The the, the box doesn't have a guide. It's still your typical, you know, change the channel type of a situation um, with the remote provided for the box. But uh, I also have an Xbox One, as you can see right there. Um, and I found something today that was pretty cool and I wanted to share with you. Um, and it requires a little bit of a setup. But basically now I am able to have a guide like a typical, you know, higher end uh, subscription. So, as you can see, I can go to CBS, the Queen Latifah show, uh, hit A on my Xbox One controller, and boom, it tunes me to that channel. Um, I can browse uh, shows as if I had a cable box with a guide. And I'm not paying for a cable box with a guide, I'm paying for the most basic, like super standard, you know, lowest level uh, TV that they offer. I'm actually not even paying for it. I'm attempting to cut the cord on a lot of my devices and don't want to pay cable uh, TV considering what the on-demand services are out there today. Anyways, let me show you a couple of the hardware setups and then I'll go into the software setup. So uh, I have, obviously, this is a, an Xbox One, so I can go, Xbox, go home. As you can see, I'm watching on the Xbox. Xbox, resume. Resume. Those voice commands, they're so awesome, aren't they? Anyways, um, so here's my uh, cable box. I know the lighting is probably really crappy here, but here's that digital converter box. I have a coaxial cable going into the wall, and then an HDMI cable into my Xbox One pass-through. Um, so that's really the hardware setup. Um, the software settings and stuff are, is what I probably would need to show you here. Um, so you go into, and this is going to be probably tough for you to see, but you go into settings, um, and then you'll go into one guide. Uh, you'll choose, um, this is my zip code, I'm whatever. You pick your zip code, and then you choose, uh, if you're a Time Warner Cable subscriber, you use Time Warner Cable, not Time Warner Cable HD and not antenna, you go Time Warner Cable, uh, next, and then you're all, that should be good to go. You want to show HD channels only, because I was actually on channel two, and it was like standard definition, and I was like, well, this is a ripoff, like, because I used to be able to get HD channels, like on 2.1 through the antenna, um, but now those HD channels are on like 402, so um, it's a little different than what you may be used to, but you'll pick this setting, show HD channels only. Um, so that'll get your guide to be set up correctly. Then you want to go to devices. You want to go to this cable or satellite box model. Then you want to enter Technicolor. Now, this digital adapter that I got is a Technical digital adapt Technicolor digital adapter. Um, I'm aware they also sell a Cisco digital adapter. So you'll either enter uh, Cisco or Technicolor here. Um, so there we go, entered. Uh, it'll ask you, do you automatically want to set it up or enter it? And you'll want to enter it. Um, I had to look up on the internet my model number. Um, it's also on the back of the box, actually. Uh, and it actually was DCI 401 TWC 
something or other. Um, I entered that code in and it couldn't find it. It, it gave me a, a, a list of ones that it knows. And I just went with the first one, DCI 105. Um, so now basically what this is doing is it's making it so the, um, yeah, see it gives you these options. So I went with the first one here, DCI 105. And this is basically, so now your Xbox becomes uh, your remote. And whenever you say, you know, go to channel 405 on the Xbox One guide, it'll tune the box to that. Um, it basically lets your Xbox One communicate with your digital uh, adapter box. So now that you're all have those settings, you just go back and then hit done and your TV should be on. You go to the one guide, select what you would like to view. Um, you'll probably be up here with all these other kind of randoms, but scroll yourself down to the four hundreds and boom, let's watch the uh, Bill Cunningham show here. Boom. As you can see, it's tuning my box, and here it is, bam. So I just thought that was pretty cool, considering I you know, don't really want to pay. It's like $75 to have a, uh, a cable box the, with the guide, and you know, I mean, yeah, I don't get Comedy Central, and I don't get you know, Cartoon Network and all those other channels, but whatever, I, they're all on demand on the internet, and I can get them otherwhere, other places, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Um, sorry for the video being a little long and probably drawn out, um, but hope you enjoyed it. And any questions you have, be sure to put it in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.